Now, let me show you how to install the optional interface modules in Eternity Any. Let me begin by unpacking the box and checking the package contents. Installing of various optional interface modules on Eternity Any is both simple and easy. Before we install various interface modules, we must test the functioning of Eternity Any system. Just confirm that the mains power is suitable as per the power specifications mentioned on the DC adapter. Then switch on the system. Observe the complete reset cycle before going ahead. If the power LED is continuously on and status LED blinks for one second on and one second off, the system is functioning well. Now power off the system and open the enclosure to go ahead. You should be aware that everybody carries a certain static charge in his or her body. Therefore, anybody who is handling or installing Eternity Any should be wearing a properly grounded wristband for safety. Let us begin with installing the mobile modules. All the models of Eternity Any have similar hardware architecture. Eternity Any has two mobile ports. Both the ports support optional GSM 2G as well as UMTS 3G modules. Remove the plastic cover and expose the slot for SIM card holder and the hole for antenna connector. Remove the screws and fit the card into the connector. Ensure that the card is seated perfectly. Finally, secure the card with the screws. This is UMTS 3G card. You can mount it the same way I mounted the GSM 2G card. Next, I will insert the SIM card. in this SIM card holder with the contact side facing up. Finally, let us connect the antenna of the mobile port. Do remember the mobile ports take about 3 minutes for registration with the network on every power on. Only once the registration with the network is over that you can use the mobile ports. Now, let us install the VOIP server module. The optional VOIP interface provides 4 SIP trunks and up to 16 IP extensions. 8 IP extensions are provided with VOIP server module and the remaining 8 IP extensions require purchase of IP8 license. Any SIP enabled device supporting SIP version 2 protocol can operate as an IP extension of Eternity Any. An IP extension can be an IP phone a PC based soft phone or a mobile phone with SIP client. Now align both the male connectors of the module to the matching female connectors on the main circuit board and fix it. Now secure the module. That is all about installing the VOIP card. Next, I will show you how to install the optional voicemail system module. The VMS module provides personal mailbox to all the extensions. It also supports multi-level auto attendant. The voice module of Eternity Any comes as a USB pen drive with the license key activation voucher. The USB pen drive is preloaded with voicemail configuration files and voice messages for prompts and greetings. The pen drive also serves as a storage device for mailbox messages. So, the hardware installation of the voicemail system module simply means inserting the USB pen drive into the onboard USB port of Eternity Any. Use the upper USB port for this. 
then you need to activate the voicemail system license on the Eternity NE. To activate the voicemail license, you need to use configuration web server Jeeves, which comes embedded on the Eternity NE. Execute the following steps. First, log on to Jeeves. Then, go to license management page under advanced settings and note down the current license key. Next, log on to the Matrix online server using user ID and password provided by Matrix License Support Center. Now, enter the product family, current license key you noted and name of customer and dealer. Next, click on view button. The page will show the current license profile of the Eternity NE. Click the next button to continue. On the next page, in the license pin field, enter the license pin from the license voucher and click details. The details appear in the fields product family, product name and product variant. Click the next button. The current license profile and the new license profile will appear on this page. Click the activate button and wait for a few seconds while the activation is initiated. On successful activation, the confirmation message will appear on your screen along with the activation date and time. You may save, print or email this information for your records. Note down the new license key generated on this page. Now, go back to the Jeeves window. Open the license management page under advanced settings. In the field, enter license key, enter the new license key generated. Finally, click on Submit button. The service profile on this page will be updated and the voicemail license is activated. This way, we've done the complete installation of the voicemail system module. For any further help, please refer to the Eternity Any Quick Start. Finally, let's see how to install the door phone module. The door phone module includes the door phone port and a relay contact. It provides interface for connecting and operating a door phone and a door lock release device with Eternity NE. This is a connector for the door phone module. Remove the plastic cover and uncover the slot for the RJ45 connector. Fit the card into the connector. See that the RJ45 connector of the card aligns correctly with the slot. After ensuring that the card is seated correctly, now secure the card. You can connect a 4-wire door phone complying with these technical specifications. Similarly, you can connect a door lock complying with these technical specifications. Refer the spin-out details for connecting the wires of the door phone and door lock with the wires of the Eternity NA. There we are, done with installing all the optional interfaces. Replace the top cover. Now we can mount the system and make the connections.